Hello, my friends. My name is Dadcraft73, and welcome back to another episode of our One Block Sky Block Java Edition Let's Play series. The sun is rising on our little world here, and I just finished chopping down that huge spruce tree. We're going to make sure we gather up all the sap saplings from that, all the spare pieces of wood that comes down. But the real reason I did that is I want to get this, like so. Let's go ahead and grab all of this. Now, you guys were very helpful. I'm going to grab this mulch, too. In the last episode about how to make and moss, that was moss, how to make more dirt. Well, I guess actually how to make stone. So we're going to try to do a little test. I just want to see how it works. Uh, there's a couple ways that uh, people were telling me to do it. I think what we do, hmm, we'll, we'll give it a try. I'm not exactly sure. It's you, you put water down, like water down, and then the, the lava falls down on top of that. And there, from there, we can convert all of that stone into... Uh, moss and then moss we can convert it to puzzle through this process we've got sort of like a multi-stage process but that's okay uh, it's better than sitting there grinding away at the one block the other thing i want to try today is we're going to build a little like observation or like afk platform maybe not afk just a distance platform that's like 25 blocks that way we want to be 25 blocks away from this existing grass that we had we have because the goal is to get some animals. I really want a bed. Uh, we haven't gotten any animals yet whatsoever. So if I could get a bed, that would be pretty awesome. So we're gonna try to make that happen today, if possible. Uh, those are at least our main goals. So we're gonna do a little bit of experiment, exper experiments, <laughs> and see if we can't produce unlimited um, uh, stone without having to cook it. Uh, by the way, you guys uh, are very worked up, or at least some of you are very worked up about the fact that we get fire right there. So we'll put a torch there to give us some extra light and it won't catch on fire anymore. And that's our double cobblestone generator, which we're probably going to have to hit because if we start raking in all this dirt, uh, well, I guess we're a little ways off from being able to do that because we want to get this entire level down here converted to some sort of farming operation. And I'm okay with manual farming for now. I think that's okay. I really want to spend some time once we feel like we're a little bit better uh, situated for resources, see if we can't uh, do some like uh, decorative stuff around here. Like maybe if we have like all of these fields around here, maybe we put, I don't know, like a grain elevator or something cool that we could just stick in there to make this world feel like, you know, it's awesome. We want our world to be awesome. That's for sure. All right. So here's my plan. We're going to test this together. If the problem that what I'm scared of <laughs> is making obsidian. I don't think I'll make obsidian as long as... What's the deal? So if water touches lava, we get obsidian, right? But if lava touches water, we get stone. At least that's what, what folks have been telling me. So that's what we're going to try to do today. So I think how we're going to do this is... Okay, let's do a little test. So uh, we are in the overworld. Yeah, we are in the overworld. So... Lava is not going to spread quite the same. Okay, so we need to do a lava test, okay? It's not going to be ideal, and it's going to be a little scary, but we're going to do this anyway, because we want to make uh, just amount of stone. Let me uh, grab... Actually, can we make... We're going to need lava anyway. What do we need to make lava? We need this and a bucket, okay? So we can make a bucket of lava like so, okay? So now, if I just, just temporarily... Let's go up like three blocks. I can touch that block down there. And then let's break. No. Okay. Uh, I don't really want to waste. Here, let's use mud. Mud will be okay. All right. I'm just trying not to waste resources if I can avoid doing that. Let's back up just a little bit. All right. So we're going to go like one, two, three. Then we're going to break these guys like so. Okay. Then we're going to go right here and we're going to place lava, lava like that. Now, it's not going to go like water. It only does four blocks, I think, in the overworld. Yes. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to try to jump over that. And we're going to outline this lava like so. Okay. Okay, let's not walk off the edge. Go. All right, so we've outlined the lava. Now we can pick it up. Okay, perfect. Yes? 
Okay. All right, so now that's gone. Now what we want to do is make ourselves a little bit of a, like, uh, a climby thing. All right, what we're going to do is we're just going to go over here like so, and we'll put that, like, you know what we should do? We should smelt something. Can we smelt some stuff? Okay, let's put this in here. All of that. So anything we could, you know what we could do? We could make some charcoal. So let's make like however much this is. There we go. Our bucket's empty now. We're smelting that. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna grab some water, like so. And we're gonna put this water, we're gonna fill this whole thing up with water. I mean, this is gonna take a little bit of grinding, but it should be okay. Okay, maybe one more. We have to eat something in just a second. Okay, so we'll put this in here. This should now, like, fill up. Okay, is it filled? There's a little bit of running water over there. Okay, so now we have this. All right, uh, I guess we should have kept that lava yeah we should have kept that lava but that's okay all right so then we're going to go in the center and let's build ourselves like one two like a little thing okay grab those resources okay now if i take lava maybe we should go up one more up one more. Hey, hey, okay, like that. Now, if I take my bucket of lava and place it upside down on there, which we should be able to do from the edge, right? We should be able to reach that. Yeah. Then this should fall down and convert all of this into stone, which then we should be able to convert into mulch. We can plant a tree on it and convert all the mulch into dirt. Yes, not mulch. What's it called? Moss. Yes. All right, let's put this in there. Let's make another bucket of lava since we can. Let's save this one forever, though, and let's do a test. If we get obsidian, it's over for us, okay? So now can we go like this? Yeah, please, please make stone. Please make stone. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I don't... Uh, is it going to overflow? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, it's not. It's not going to overflow, okay. All right, let's grab this. So that's interesting. So we can make this a little bit bigger, which is pretty awesome. Right, that gives us more. And it did. It made, oh, it made stone. That's perfect. Okay. So what we could do really quick is we, well, let's just leave it just like this. So now we can like maybe mine out the middle one like so. Okay. I want to see how much of this stuff that we actually get with one of those processes. We might need to see if we can't make a bigger area. And then we need a couple, maybe just one, maybe that that many. Let's see, this many bones, okay. All right, so now we put the mulch in the center. And we go like that, boom, okay. And then maybe we have to do it again, okay. And maybe like one more time. Okay, three. All right, so that, that was pretty good. And that gives us how many? That gives us 23, I mean, that's that's quite that's a, quite a, a lot of work to get 23 of those, I think, maybe. Hmm. All right. So that's not ideal. Uh, I don't, I mean, I mean, I guess maybe that's just the way we have to do it. Then we can, theoretically, we could just leave that here. We could grow a tree, right? And get and get more, and then we'd be in good shape. Because all we have to do is hold back one piece of moss, and then we can essentially get unlimited dirt by following that process. Okay, and we also get a couple other little odds and ends, like whatever this stuff is. We get uh, azaleas, we get flowering azalea, we get moss carpet, which hopefully will turn into a little bit of blown bone meal, and then we can repeat the process. Right? Right. Okay, well, that's good to know. So we're just going to leave that uh, for now. I'm going to work on that a little bit off camera. I do need to have a secure place. I mean, maybe I'll just literally just stick it in there. All right, so the other thing I want to do, we're going to leave this side for dirt production, I think. Maybe we'll go over here. Let's get lined up with our one block and just run over here like so. And then... That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10, 
11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Let's, that's that's got to be plenty, right? So 17 there, and then we've got 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yeah, we've, we're more than 25 blocks away. It's daytime. So we should be able to just come over here and stand like that. And now we're hoping for some sort of animals to spawn. I mean, this is, I mean, Java, it's not quite the same because animals spawn really, really slowly in Java. It's not like it is in Bedrock. In Bedrock, we'd probably have some already. But this might take a little bit of time that we have to wait. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to think about our whole stone production facility over there and see if I can find a different way. Maybe there's a different shape or something like that, or we can use multiple uh, things of lava. Who knows? But we'll see if we can't figure that out for sure. But in the meantime, I'm just going to hang out here for a little bit. I think until it gets nighttime, which is not very long. And then, do I have a torch? Uh, I have one torch. Okay, let's just put this torch right here uh then after it's nighttime we're going to come in i'm going to i'm going to do some work over there with my dirt production and we'll go from there i'll see you in just a second okay it's still night but i've i've come up with maybe an idea a, an idea that i think will help us refresh the amount of uh, lava we end up with so if i go here let's put this here like this okay then we jump out we're gonna watch see what happens okay so we get that that, that goes like that. Then it's going to go like that. And it should expand. But leave me some water. Okay? Yes. Yes. One more. That should be it. Okay. Then I should be able to go in here and grab this lava. Okay. So we're going to put this back in our lava holding area right there. The benefit of having all this water here is if something happens and I get Jimmy Jack, uh, it'll be okay. I'll, uh, even if I get caught on fire. Okay. So then... We're gonna get this middle block out like so. All right, we're gonna get our mulch. We're gonna get like one, two of these. Uh, we're gonna get our moss, sorry. I know, I know. Uh, we're gonna go like this and we're gonna put this in here. Then we're going to go like this and then we're gonna bone meal that, okay? Bone meal this, okay? Bone meal that, bone meal that. Know that. Okay, so that took six pieces of bone meal. Okay. Put that back in there. So now, now that we have this, we'll grab up all these little surface deals. That's a lot of uh, carpet. I don't know how much that actually converts into bone meal or not. We'll find out and see. Um, we'll, we'll put all of our goodies that we get from here. Okay, so now we have this. So now I should be able to go like one, two, uh, three, four. Okay, and we'll grow a spruce tree. Whenever that thing's ready to grow, we can grow. We can put some uh, torches around the outside, around the outside, around the outside, just to make sure that we don't have any mob spawns over here. By the way, I hung out over there for a little bit. No animals yet, but this is Java. So Java is really slow when it comes to spawning animals. We also moved our stuff over there, or we added some dirt over there. Uh, so now if this grows, we're going to get... One, two, that's, I don't know, like 20 dirt or something like that. But I think the benefit will be if I break all this out of here, once it's podzel, it may, the water may fill in for me again. And I don't have to go through that process again. So we can speed it up a little bit. Uh, I'm just worried about how much bone meal we get. So we have four pieces of bone meal. Let's take that out. And let's see, we got these, we got this, this, this. So we got all of that stuff from our... From breaking all of that stuff after we bone mealed it with four bone meal, maybe no five bone meal, and we are going to get one back. It looks like okay, so that's not ideal, but we could maybe make some shears out of our iron and then chop some of those down and go through that process. Maybe we also have some other random things for bone meal, and we're gonna have seeds coming out of here. Okay, let's uh, let's farm up all this. See how many seeds we end up with. We have 51 seeds. Yeah, I mean, I think slowly. I mean, if we really focus on growing crops that we can get resources from, I, I think we might be okay. And then we'll skip one. Yeah, that's going to be potatoes for now. Skip that one, and then we go like this. Okay. I've been listening to... I'm not a huge audiobook guy. Maybe you are. Uh, or... 
an audio book person. <laughs> But I've been listening to The Martian. Man, that's a really good book. And it makes me want to watch the movie. I haven't seen the movie for a while. I don't think it's uh, play, playing on any of the streaming services as of right now. But man, that's a good movie. And I think I would like to watch it. So maybe I'll be doing that really soon. But the audiobook is is superb. Like, uh, I can't remember the guy who's actually reading it. But man, he's doing such a good job. So we have a little bit of a dirt facility over here. Dirt and resources, which is kind of handy if you think about it. Because we're getting tons of wood. And we've already talked about using wood to expand our platform area. So this is making us dirt, which we can put down there. We're getting tons of wood, which, which we can use for charcoal. We can use for torches then. We can use for... Um, expanding our base area, and it's just going to keep being more and more awesome as we go along. Um, it is daytime. Let me try to see if we can't get another animal to spawn, or any animal to spawn. By the way, I used uh, gravel because I thought it would be like easy takedown. Whenever we're at a point where we don't need to worry about that anymore, which may be a long time. I think what we're going to end up doing, though, is once we get redstone... We're going to make some pistons and we're going to try to automate some of that. You know how you can make like a tree farm and the trees like get pushed down and then they make like a big block. I think we could do the same thing. Make like a stone generator and use a piston to push it. And then we can make like a square of stone without having that whole setup over there. And then we can convert it to bone meal, etc. We just have to make sure that our crops are in good shape. Actually, you know what we should do? Instead of being over here... Wasted time. We should look at our seed situation and see if we can't establish another farm area like over here. Maybe we can use it for melons and pumpkins because melons and pumpkins are good. We don't really have a need for them. Okay, we got two pieces of bone meal. Oh, that was with those seeds. That's not too bad. Uh, let's see. Okay. Maybe we could get melons and pumpkins doing it. We can use those to convert to bone meal, which then drives this farm. Right, because ideally, it, what I'd like to be able to do is bone meal this tree. Yes, that would be the best course of action. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, there's nothing in there. We had some stuff, and we fell off the side of the world, didn't we? Yeah. So we really don't have any resources that we need at the moment. Okay, I'm not sure exactly how to get those resources. Uh, we could have traded. Oh, yeah, we traded, didn't we? And then we fell out of the world, and now those villagers are gone. So I may have to go hit up the one block for a while until I get a villager with, and then hope that that villager gives me a seed trade of some sort. I mean, we also get some iron out of this deal, which is pretty handy because then we can use that iron for things like shears. Right now, we really just need to have bone meal. I wish there was something we could do with mud as well. I just don't know of anything as of yet. Let's see if we can't get another villager quick here. We'll just grind for a little bit. You guys love it. You know, best best YouTube video ever. Someone commented, my friend Carrot <laughs> commented that uh, this is the best content. Making the best content. Just grinding away at the one block. But that's part of the deal, man. That's what this is. We got to expand our platform. And I'm trying to keep it real. You know how it is. All right, let's just do that for a little bit. Yeah, we're not really, nothing's really happening. Uh, we're going to convert that into a massive pumpkin farm. It's going to be amazing. I can't wait. All right, let's just, we're getting a little bit of dirt out of this process too, which I guess is not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, I'll take it. Any dirt, any resources we can get at this point, other than like andesite and diorite and granite. I'm not sure exactly why we would need that, but we're getting some. Maybe we can use it when we build our house or something. That's coming, I guess, in the future. I really want to make this place look like, like a normal Minecraft world. It just so happens to be chilling way high in the air. Okay, let's go. Come on. Get me a... I did get an achievement when I was placing dirt earlier. I have placed 500 pieces of dirt, which is pretty huge. BSB. Doing this also buys us some time to get that spruce tree behind us to grow. So maybe that thing will grow. I really just need a villager. Or I need to go to the next level and start getting a little bit of redstone so then I can make a piston and we can automate our stone production, which will then in turn sort of automate our dirt. We're getting, we're getting moss as well. Like how much of this do I have to break? 
when am I going to get the next level? Please. I don't really care about diamonds and stuff like that. I just need, I need a little bit of redstone. I'm looking for ways to automate our world here. We're, we could also make a mob farm. And I guess at some point we're probably going to end up making a mob farm. But I don't think we need one quite yet. I'm not sure what we bought. What, oh, yeah, that, oh, Oh, look at that crazy tree. And look, we have all that puzzle now. I really want to do the test. Let's 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 do it. Okay. Let's let's uh let's eat something. How about that? That crap that sounds like a good idea. So this is pretty awesome. I mean, that's a huge tree too. We're gonna get so many resources from that. Let's go ahead and chop this thing down while we just chit chat a little bit and then we'll see how much pods will be made. And then the bigger question is, will it automatically fill in? And if it does, that's gonna be pretty huge. And all we have to do is place the center block. Again, um, we'll have water, we can, and we just repeat that process over and over again. Yes, yes. So I think what we'll do is let's chop this tree down. Let's do our little experiment with our dirt production. And if this is the case, essentially now we're going to have unlimited dirt. The only issue that we're going to have at the moment is bone meal. And I think we can probably stay. Once we have this whole field going, we're going to have a huge excess in seeds and wheat seeds. And we could just replant more of them if we wanted to. I mean, and we're going to probably start having an excess of potatoes. So if we focus right now on bone mealing all of that or turning all of that stuff into bone meal then we essentially will feed our dirt engine and then we'll be able to fill out all of this lower level with dirt and not too long so it takes some grinding it's not the end of the world it's just going to be a little bit of a little bit of effort there but we're we're not afraid we're not afraid to get to work okay so this is almost done we're at the top now we i'm not too worried about the number of saplings i get from this tree We'll find that out together in just a second. All right, here we go. Let's go down. I really need a villager. I feel like there's some grinding in my future. Grinding on the one block, which is okay. Because look, we got like 15 more iron just standing there. And that's enough to make like a bunch of shears, which we can convert leaves then into bone meal. I mean, I'm okay with those sort of trade-offs. It's just I want to see if this, uh, this area will fill itself back in once we mine up all the pots. it's going to it's going to be glorious okay let's grab this okay this is a nine by nine square um inner dimensions it's 11 by 11 on the outside but nine by nine inner dimensions let's make ourselves another shovel So if this works, this is going to be huge. Okay, I, I mean, I think it, I think we're, we've confirmed that it does work. We seem to verify when all the puzzles go on. We gather it all up. It's also going to tell us how much new dirt we got, which is pretty huge. Let's right, so make sure we're gathering up all of this. Okay, and one piece of dirt over there. So we ended up with doing that process. We ended up with sixty. Is that is that possible? Sixty. I feel, oh, we but we got some dirt from there. That wasn't a perfect test. That's okay. That's okay. All right, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. We're going to go here. And then we're going to go... Okay. Let's go up here like this. This to be like that. I wish we could leave that up there, but unfortunately we can't. Okay, and now, because we are experts at Minecraft and we know all the things, we could go over here. We could grab this. Put that there. And convert all of that water that we just, we didn't have to replace anymore. Convert all of that to stone. And then we'll just complete that process over and over again. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. We're just That's what we're going to do for a little bit. I'm going to... Uh, fill out as much dirt here as I can. I've left one block along the edge. That's where our steps are going to go. Or, well, our next level is going to start right there. So we're going to do the same thing here. Just 
put all this in here. Perfect. Get some torches, a couple torches here. We don't want any surprise mobs to spawn. I mean, I don't know. We are a good ways away from that thing on a regular basis. I mean, you'd think we would start getting the stuff we need, but we haven't. So now we can grab this. We can jump in the water in case we get caught on fire. It shouldn't matter. We can grab that out of there. And then we literally can repeat our, our grass process. Okay, so we're going to break this block here. This is what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. The only downside is until I have a good supply of bone meal, we are going to have to manually. So we're going to get like this. One, two, three. I think we said two is going to be enough. And then we need a piece of moss, which we have. All right, so we'll go like this. Okay, then we're gonna go in the center. Now, if I put moss, let me check something. If I put the moss here and I bone meal it, do I get the same benefit? I do. Okay, that makes it even better because I can save that one piece of, I don't have to give up anything. We go here, yes, and go here. We can go here and we can go there. Okay, now we're going to get all these resources back. Okay, that's pretty awesome actually, because now, oh, we have to bone meal. There. Okay, now we have all of this moss down here already, uh, and all we have to do is plant. Alright, so I'm going to farm up all of the drops around here. My inventory is a little bit out of control. Let me get all that done. I'm going to go over there and bone, bone meal whatever we've got. I'm going to grow more spruce trees. I'm going to keep that process going and going. I'm going to try to grind the one block for a little while until I can get a trader. If I get a trader with a good trade, I'll bring you back on the other side and hopefully we'll be able to get a melon and pumpkin farm. And if we get a melon and pumpkin farm, just even the old, old school, like normal ones where we just plant them in rows, we're going to have more bone meal than we're going to know what to do with. Yeah, I'll see you in just a second. Get me in there. Okay, I know it's heaving down rain, but I had to come back because I got, I have two villagers here. This guy right here, he has an obsidian trade which might be kind of handy, but I don't I don't think I need that. I think I would rather, like, get magma block. I think we can... I, how do we make magma blocks, by the way? Let's take a look here and see. Because if I can make those... Magma. Uh, get rid of this. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we all oh, we could do... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're not going to do that. I'm not going to do the obsidian trade. I almost thought maybe I was going to, but then I can get lava and convert it into obsidian i guess we're going to need another portal at some point there is this beetroot which is not ideal but we're going to go ahead and take that trade we'll get those started this guy over here doesn't have anything that we want i think except for string because if we get that string we're going to have ourselves a bed so let's let's go see what our iron supplies are let's get one two three four like ten right ten iron we have a bunch more. I just grinded out uh, 13 more. Gr grinded? I don't know if that's the right word. Then we're going to do that back. Okay. There we go. Now we have this. We can take this string and convert one, two, three of those into that. Then we can take this oak log like so. And we can make ourselves dun, 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 a bed. Yes. Okay. I don't think it's nighttime. I think it's daytime. But see, can we sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can restart. We set our res respawn point though. All right, so these guys don't really do a whole lot for us. That guy, yeah, it's not much, right? And I don't think we can trade these guys and get... Oh, can we... Is that a possibility? There's no way that's going to work, right? Can I trade with these guys? Can I, like, um... Can I... Will they, will they, will they do that? All right, uh, I don't know. Let's let this guy go. Do we have a boat still? Yeah, we still have a boat. All right, let's 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 just see if these guys will will breed. Hello? Please, sir. I know. He's uh, checking out my crops there. All right, let's uh, let's get some potatoes. We're doing an experiment here. Where'd that guy go? Did he... Did he oh, he's over there still. Let's just put these guys in the... Let's put the boat down. Let's farm up these potatoes really quick. Okay. Okay, we'll farm up these potatoes. Okay, that guy's like walking all around. We'll get these potatoes. Okay, and then if we can plant this. So this field's going to be filled then. Okay. 
Can we pick those up? Yes. Okay. Can we hack the game right here? We have a bed. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Do I need a second bed? All right, hold on. Uh, do I have any more iron? We do. Let's get a little bit more. We'll make two beds. I don't. Th I can't see that this is going to work. Yeah, they're going to be hearts. I mean, are we going to get a, like a, a regular baby? That's eight. We need literally just a little bit more string. But I don't know if these guys. I mean, do we need another bed? Maybe. Do we need two more beds? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's see if this works. There's no way this works, right? <laughs> this feels like super cheaty. Are you the guy? No, you're the guy. All right, let me get a little bit more string from you. That's that many. Okay. I mean, I'll make three beds if that's what I have to do. I don't think it's going to work, but if we can make it... Oh, come on. Let's go like this. I wish it wasn't pouring down rain. I mean, this is a good experiment, at least. Okay, we can go like this. We can get four. Make another bed, like so. Do we need another bed? I need three beds. Like one bed for each of those and then one to expand our farm. There's no way this works, right? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, we're burning a ton of iron to test this, but if it works, oh my goodness, we're going to be in good shape. For science, we're burning our iron. Okay, there we go. Boom. Okay. Okay, so now we should be able to make the next bed. And then if they're going to breed, we'll know like immediately. All right, so we're going to go like this. I wish it wasn't even down rain. And now we can make a bed. Like so. Add this bed to our little house here. Boom. Put this in there. These rotten. These big guys. Please. I mean, I guess they're technically netwits, I guess. All right. I think that was a little bit of a waste, but at least we now know that's a tiny tree. I love that. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a little baby there. Okay, that's okay. All right. I mean, I think we're going to end the episode right there. We did pretty good work today. We, we figured out how to make essentially unlimited dirt. We expanded our crop farm. We also expanded our little island here. We didn't get any animals to spawn, but we did get a bed through some clever use of some trading. I mean, I'm pretty happy. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any ideas how we could get unlimited villagers, please let me know. Maybe we have to make another portal and go to the nether and find a fortress and get all the stuff to make... Uh, to, we have to get gold. Oh my goodness, I think you're just going to have to grind. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, please remember to be cool. Don't be a fool. And from my one block sky block, let's play series where it's pouring down rain, but we're grinding out dirt. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.